In this video, we're going to learn how to subclass MBF dog so that we can practice inheritance together. Let's start by creating a new Objective-C file. So we can go to File, New File, or you can simply press Command-N. We're going to go to Cocoa Touch and press Objective-C class and press Next. And we're going to choose MBF Puppy. And we're going to make this a subclass of MBF dog. And notice that we got the autofill here. Let's go ahead and press next. And we're going to make sure that we have the target selected, a man's best friend. And I'm going to go ahead and press create. And I'm going to move it down below MBF dog. So you can move these files all over the place into all these different folders by highlighting them in your file folder navigator and dragging them. But I'm going to go ahead and just move them under MBF dog. Just since it's the newest one, I think it just looks nicest at the bottom for now. Let's go ahead and navigate to mbfpuppy.h and we're now in the header file. We're going to go ahead and add a method uh, declaration to the header file. So let's go ahead and define our method. So we're not going to return anything, so we're going to give it the return type of void or nothing. And we'll give it the method name give puppy eyes. We can go ahead and add a semicolon at the end. And I can copy this method name and we go to MBF puppy and we can implement this method. So again, between the at implementation and the at end, I can paste this in. And we're going to add curly braces. To keep this simple, we'll just write a quick NS log statement so that we can just prove to ourselves the give puppy eyes method is working. So we'll just write an unhappy face. I think when puppies give puppy eyes, it can be a little sad sometimes. So we'll just put an unhappy face there. Let's go create our puppy now. We're going to go back to mbfviewcontroller.m. And we're going to go back into the view did load method. We notice there's quite a bit of information here. So just make sure you're writing this line of code at the very bottom here. Um, and we're going to start writing MBF puppy. And we see that, oh, we don't have access to MBF puppy. Well, we forgot to do one thing. And that's we didn't import MBF puppy. So let's scroll to the top of our view controller.m file. In order to get access and create MBF puppies, we have to know that the MBF puppy file exists. So let's import MBF puppy.h. And we can scroll back down now. And now when we start typing MBF puppy, we'll see that we get the autofill. And I can create a puppy. We'll create a little puppy here. That'll be the variable name. And like before, we'll give use the class MBF puppy. We'll allocate some space and memory. We'll initialize our object. And let's now use the method we created. So we can do our object, which is little puppy. We can call the method that we just created, which is called give puppy eyes. And I can go ahead and run my application. And I should see that unhappy face print out to my console. And I see it right here. Incidentally, if you have a bunch of other NSLog statements, I recommend you just clear them out. Um, it's nice to only have a few things printing out to your console at a time, especially when you're starting out. Uh, it keeps you from getting confused. So great, our method works. Let's try sending this method message to our dog object. So below this, we can add a line of code. We can say my dog, and we can say give puppy eyes. And we see here that there's an error. We can read our error. It says no visible interface for MBF dog declares a selector give puppy eyes. So basically what this is telling us is that the MBF dog class doesn't define the method give puppy eyes. It doesn't know how to call this information. Only puppies know how to call this information. On the opposite side, our puppy knows how to do everything our dog knows how to do. By making our puppy a subclass of MBF dog, we get access to all of the methods and properties we declared in the MBF dog header file. To test that out, let's call the method bark on our puppy. So we can go ahead and remove the line of code that doesn't work here. And I can type little puppy bark. I didn't define the method bark in MBF puppy. I defined the method bark in MBF dog. And now I can go ahead and run my application again. And we see woof woof comes out. And woof woof is the implementation for the method bark. So we're going to go ahead and update our puppy's attributes the same way we did for our dog. Now that we've proven that we are able to create this puppy object and that it has access to all of MBF dog's implementation, let's set some of the puppy's properties using the properties we defined in the MBF dog header file. 
So let's write little puppy dot name, and we'll set this equal to bow o. And we're we'll set its breeds next. So we can do little puppy dot breed. We can set this equal to Portuguese water dog. And finally, we need to update its image. Well, we haven't added an image yet for our little puppy. So let's go ahead and we can minimize or shrink the Xcode window a little bit so we can access my photo from my desktop. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag this into my supporting files. And like before, I'm going to make sure I copy items into destination folder, create groups, and most importantly, I'm going to make sure I add to targets a man's best friend. I can press finish. I can go ahead and remake my Xcode a little bit larger over here. Just fix the window a little bit. And now I can set the image property for my little puppy. I can set this UI image, image named like before. And we're going to check our file name. So it's bow.jpg. JPG. Finally, we're going to add this to our array of dogs. We can do self.mydogs, add object, the instance method, and we can add our little puppy to this array. Now I can go ahead and run my application. And with any luck, we'll see the puppy come up quickly. There's obviously going to be random dogs coming up, but now we see Boo is now added to our array. We're now able to view its information uh, or his information on our iPhone application.